Imagine yourself as a firefighter, standing on the flanks of a fire as it runs through mountainous bushland. What are the thoughts running through your head? Where are the rest of my team? Have I got all the equipment I need? Perhaps what's for dinner or even breakfast? But what about where is the fire going next? And am I safe where I'm stood? Fire management agencies and research groups across the world use numerous different models to understand how fires behave in different environments. In general, it is taken that a fire will spread in the same direction as the wind at a rate proportional to the wind speed. Now in flat open plains, this is relatively easy to model. But as we move into mountainous areas with steep slopes and deep valleys, we get far more complex wind mechanisms that can cre create conditions for dangerous and volatile fire behavior. Now in order to model these wind mechanisms, we need to solve some highly involved physical equations add some forests to our mountains, and these equations become almost unbearable. Now this is a problem for you, stood on the side of the hill in amongst the gum trees. You don't have days or even weeks to wait for a supercomputer to run simulations. You might have hours or only minutes to decide what to do next and where to go. So the solution to this problem so far has been to simplify the equations. We make a few assumptions here and average a few things there, and we get the results quickly. And across large areas, these results are still broadly accurate. But in my research, we, and as you can see here, as you move into the hills and valleys of the mountains, these models are significantly flawed. So what if there was a way to capture the dynamics of wind and fire in these mountainous areas without having to solve complex physical equations? And what if at the same time, we can learn about how confident we are in the predictions that we make? This is where statistics holds the key. By analyzing wind data from mountainous areas, I've already begun to understand the probabilities of different wind mechanisms occurring under different conditions. These probabilities will feed into a new generation of fire models, providing real-time predictions with associated measures of uncertainty. We can then begin to analyze different what-if scenarios, perhaps best case, or more importantly, worst case, and understand how likely different outcomes will be. So my research will lead to a more informed, real-time decision-making process when it comes to fire planning and fire management, and ultimately, when it comes to your safety as a firefighter. Thank you.